Good evening, YouTube. So, I had a fellow reach out to me, uh, just the other week, and, uh, he said, mate, I make, uh, PCBs for custom charging applications and things that are better than TP4506 boards and things like that, and, uh, I was wondering if you'd be interested in having a look at some of them. He's, uh, got a sale site on uh, Tindy.com Tindy, T-I-N-D Tindy.com and he makes these wicked little boards so we'll talk, this one's an LED drive we'll talk about that in a second it's a little um, PE sensor there let's talk about this beast first so this is his own design it's the CN3153 FA 1S, 1 amp, 3 in 1 regulator charger with a booster. So it's a replacement for a TP4056. Now, this, I'm reading this straight off his description, which will be, which will be uh, linked down below, of course. But what this can do, it's a little PCB. It's designed to charge a single lithium battery, either lithium ion or LiPo, straight off a micro USB or DC source including solar you can supply loads directly from the battery or via the onboard boost converter so not only can you charge a single 18650 or lipo pouch whatever suits you you can also power things externally from this with a built in boost converter so great for little loads and things that you need to get a bit more voltage out of that could be a USB output or similar, so it's its main reasons that it's special is it can handle an input voltage from 5 volts or from 5 volt USB or 8 to 25 volts, including solar. So you can use your old power supplies uh, for things like laptops, phones, uh, not phone chargers, laptops, and um, yeah, printer power supplies, router power supplies, all those kinds of things. So you don't need to buy any power supplies because these are all great high quality switch mode power supplies already and they're really power efficient. Uh, the battery is protected for short circuits, overcharging and undercharging, so when you over discharge it. Um, safe to draw up to 2 amps from the battery. And up to half an amp at 12 volts so you can use this to power another charger or uh, just use the boost converter in it to run a small light that's at a high voltage or whatever now he's gone all out because you can be really you can be really selective in your actual amperages so we've got the jumper in the one amp slot over here now there's a 7.75, a 0.5, a 0.25 a 0.1 and a 0 0.05 amp. Got a switch for your external there. Got a little pot on that that little uh, brass screw on the potentiometer there. So he's set this up so that's your boost output converter so you can actually put it out. So you got your battery terminals on one side, your load, your ground and your adjusted output voltage. Uh, external external input maybe I'm not sure we'll go into it with him a bit more so I know more about it when we start making things out of these boards there's your micro USB input it's also a big DC input you've got two LEDs up this side and you've got the two screw terminals there for 6 to 45 volts DC so you can feed it a multitude of voltages and it'll do things. So, bergduino.com, B-U-R-G-D-U-I-N-O.com. He's playing with some awesome things. He's in little logo, there's a little hamburger there, see? Playing with some awesome things. This is just a, a quick look at them because I only got them this week. And um, I really wanted to uh, start sharing what I know. Now, 
he, like I said, he's got a um, DIY electronics page. He's from Greece. He ships worldwide. Um, quite easy to buy with. Straight, buy them straight from him. He also has a few different things. You know, USB chargers, um, more LiPo chargers, and this is the other one we've got here to play with, which is an LED driver. So I don't really want to make the video too long-winded because it's only really an intro. But basically, yeah, put power in or put a battery in. Uh, you got adjustable activation levels for the light and then it's got the LEDs output so we could put a high powered LED on there which we might steal out of one of these um, LED work lights or something um, this side's the LED output which is driven there he's given me the little uh, PE, PE cell like light sensor a little adjust, adjustable pot it's actually hard to point to it. This is also small and well detailed. This might help. So that one there is where your light sensor goes. He's left it nice and long so I can put it in a box or whatever I feel like. Here's an adjustable potentiometer which will allow you to adjust the uh, sensitivity of when it turns on and off. Oh, it's actually your charger too. And you've got a charge and a standby. So you can put power into this board it'll charge a single alien 650 or lipo one or the other and uh, when the light drops off you have the ability to turn on a uh, turn on a bright LED which is driven off this uh, little board so bergduino.com b-u-r-g-d-u-i-n-o that's in Arduino these are really cool. We're going to build a couple of things. I'm going to go and see if I can get some uh, cool boxes to put these in from the electronics wholesaler. And uh, we'll mount these up and set some cool things up because this is really exciting. This is just like a bit of a taste of what he makes and he's got some big plans in the future. Uh, just getting, getting up and off the ground. So if you can go over there and support him and let him know I sent you, that would be amazing because... Um, yeah, really keen to share his uh, share his skills because uh, it's not coming from a factory in China um, or a copied board from something that was copied from something that was copied. He's uh, designed these out himself, and uh, this is what you end up with. It's a it's a big big step in the right direction above what you can do with your normal TP four five four o five six boards. So. Uh, He's, he's incorporated multiple circuits into a uh, small board to do a lot of things. Really, really, really impressed with the build quality. They look really good. I like his little logo there. That's a really cool touch. They're nicely labelled so you can work out what's going on. And uh, even without a schematic in your hand, even though he has them on his uh, website there, on his uh, sale page, um, you, you, you don't necessarily need one to work out what, what's going on and what you're up to so stay tuned we'll set these up and have a play with them really keen to do that and uh, thank you for now thanks so much for watching thanks to uh, bergduino.com for uh, shooting these off to me I'm uh, very appreciative and uh, his name's Christos from um, He's from Greece, so go over and uh, hit him up, say my sent you. Uh, if you uh, want a bulk order of these and you're in Australia, sing out, I'll get them to me. And then uh, I can distribute them uh, to whoever wants one. So thanks heaps for watching guys. Support uh, someone who's creating some cool things. Thanks heaps. Catch you on the next video. Links to all of these, all these things. We'll be in the video description as always. Cheers guys, catch you on the next one.